everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making chorizo spaghetti with some spinach. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. This is a really simple dinner to make like any spaghetti that you would make any other night, but just with a little twist. Like I said in my previous video, I do have a new obsession with chorizo, so I made this up after watching a few videos and this is what I came up with and we love it. So I'm starting off with my green bell pepper. All you need is one half of a green bell pepper. I used a very large one because my daughter picked it out. But I'm just going to dice these up and I'm going to do the same with my onion. Any onion is fine. You can use yellow, red, white, whatever your preference is. I find dicing it this way the fastest way for me to do it. So I'm just going to do it lengthwise and then chop it straight down. Because if you notice, see how it breaks apart? You don't need to chop right through. As for the meat, I'm using about, my package is actually one and a half pounds of ground beef, and I'm using a package of just chorizo, and I threw it all into a large pot. I've started off on a medium high heat setting, cooking my ground beef and my chorizo all together in the same pot because I want it to be combined really well. Once it's about all cooked through, go ahead and start adding all your veggies right into it. I did use my pre-minced garlic and then the veggies that we just diced up, and I'm going to give all of this a good mix. Continue cooking this until your vegetables haven't really changed colors yet, but you know they're a little bit softer. And then grab your favorite jar of pasta sauce and add that right in. This is a 45 ounce jar, so don't get the smallest one. You're going to want the one that's, I guess, one right next to it, right above that. Or is there one in between? I'm not sure, but 45 ounces is what you're going to need. Then add your two basil leaves. Cook this on low and let it simmer for the next 30 minutes to an hour, however long you'd like to have it cooking. And while that's cooking, let's go ahead and wash your spinach. Spinach can get really dirty, so make sure you give that a good thorough wash and let that sit in the sink and set it aside until we're ready to use it. Now you can start this early in the morning or whenever you'd like to just because spaghetti sauce just tastes better when it's been sitting there for a while. Grab a package of your favorite spaghetti noodles and cook it for about 10 minutes. I know 10 minutes is about al dente, but we're going to throw these noodles inside of our pasta sauce. It'll be a little bit more tender than that. And if you notice, I am using a wok, only because my noodles will fit right in there. <laughs> Alright, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pull my noodles out. and I'm going to throw them right into the pot like I said I was going to. So place all your noodles right in there and give it a good mix. Close it right back up. And let's get back to our spinach. Now with the boiling pot of water we had from our noodles, just throw your spinach right in there. And all you need is maybe a good 30 seconds at most. We're just going to blanch it for a little bit. And then we're going to throw this right into our spaghetti pot as well. Mix this right into the sauce and let it simmer for a good 10 to 15 minutes. This is an absolutely easy sauce to make. Make this ahead of time, make it the night before, whatever works for you. And you just have to plate it whenever you're ready to eat. Garnish it with some Parmesan cheese and some parsley if you like, or just eat it the way it is. If you guys like this recipe, please hit subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.